when you when you now have time to look at you know your your performances now you know the the olympics obviously you can't you're coming in you're you're, you're the top seed could you give us some you know backdrop on, on you know what was going on there because i know obviously you didn't perform as well as you you wanted mm -hmm. to i'm sure could you kind of share with us you know what what that was like I don't want to dwell on it too long but i'm sure a lot of yeah. people are probably interested no nah, man like i like kind of the same thing i said when i was at the games when it came when it actually came to pass it was just like i don't i literally physically mentally could not tell you what happened like and i know that's like to to most people that hear that even like like what do you mean like how do you like what you mean you don't know what happened like literally like what people and i know marvin marvin and us were talking about this the other day what people got to understand i didn't go to the olympics and choose to not run fast like that's the thing i didn't go there like oh man you know what i'm gonna get all this hype and then i'm gonna just run slow like come on now like nobody thinks like that like people have seen me run through the ncaa circuit seen me run like you see me win usa trials you see me get second behind gatlin and tyson at usa trials and national championships in the past years i'm a gamer like i know how to race when it's time to race that's why i say at the olympics i physically cannot tell you what went wrong like, it was just one of those things that we preach about as track athletes, right? It's so black and white. Any given day, anything can happen. And that anything happened, happened to me. Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing about it, you know? Do you, do you think it was, like, so when you're when you're about to line up on the line, were you like, mm -hmm. were you like, oh, yeah, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good? Or was it, were you there like, man, something's just, something just might not be feeling right? Like, what? I, like, I promise you, you couldn't tell me that I wasn't going to win the Olympics. You couldn't. You couldn't, and maybe people, maybe, maybe people would say that's the problem. Maybe they think, maybe I went in there thinking too highly of myself, thinking like, oh, it was just going to be a, a, a walk in the park. But I don't think like that. Like, even though I went in there confident, like, okay, I can win this thing, I still never take nothing. Like, I never take anybody for granted. Like, I'm like, look, they can show up they best today. So I didn't go into it thinking like, oh, this is about to be a walk in the park. I can chill, do this. I, I, can, I, can, I can jog through the round. Like, no, I was not thinking that. Like I was like, look, these guys is gunning for me because I'm I'm the poster boy going into the the games. Like so, everybody's gunning for me. So I'm not going in there thinking like, oh, this is gonna be a handout. I didn't go in there thinking like, oh man, something is wrong. Literally none of that. I went into that. I went into that thinking with the same mentality I always have. It's the same hundred meters, just a different location. Time to race. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. So when people ask me, do I get nervous? I literally tell them like, no, because I literally have been thinking like this since I was a child. This is what my coach instilled into me, uh, rest in peace, Coach G. She always told us it's the same 100 meters, just a different location. It don't matter what anybody say. We still got to run 100 meters. So I'm never nervous because we've done this. Like I've been running tracks since I was four years old. I've been running 100 meters for many, many years. What am I to get nervous about? It ain't nothing else to be like the hard work is already done. And what's going to happen is going to happen. So I, I don't see no reason. Like I said, I, I don't know what happened. I, I literally couldn't tell you. Yeah, you. You've been running track longer than some people that were lining up on the line have been alive. So <laughs> when you think and about no, for it. For real. For so real. It's been there for a long time. And, and I'm sure another thing people would wonder, like the four by one, it didn't, it didn't yeah. go quite the way that people wanted. You know, there, the handoffs, yeah. there have been videos and people talking about, you know, not mm. as much practice as you'd like, like, you know, what kind of, you know, what, do you have any behind the scenes on, you know, what, what was going on there? Cause I know USA, obviously we have the best collective sprinters, you know, yeah. it's, it's crazy at what we got. You know, you have any insight on, on kind of what, what that was looking like? Oh, uh, I kid you not, man. We did not practice. Like we had two days and one day was really just kind of going through the motion. The other day was actually picking it up. But besides that, it was, it was like, we just got thrown out there and I felt bad for like people like Wallace who got called at the last minute to be the coach. Right. So now he's taking all the hit us as athletes taking all the hit and it's like not our fault. That's why one thing I can agree with Carl Lewis is like all these other countries, they got a system set up for us to succeed, like for them to succeed. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know it's hard for us because every year you got guys who run in nine, eight, you don't know who's going to make the team, but still in the, in the sense of that, you can you can almost gather if you take out the sense of oh one of them can fall start or one of them was hurt going into the trials you can almost gather who's going to be in the final you can almost you can almost i ain't gonna i ain't gonna try to put nobody ahead of anybody because like we say any given day anything can happen but you can tell throughout the season if these guys are separating themselves in multiple meets and times of they running multiple 990s or 98s like 
it's going to be a good chance they might make it into the final. And if they are, they're on the relay pool. So if that's the case, like set up more camps, uh, even even meetings, yo, to like even set up a system to where it's like, who would run what leg? Because I think that was the biggest factor. Like, because you can't tell four guys or five guys who run nine, eight, nine, nine lows that they only could specifically run this leg, right? So it's like over 100 meters, they the fastest regardless. Curve or no, uh, no curve, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, having those meetings to be like, okay, what do y'all feel comfortable instead of just throwing them out there, you know? Yeah. It's, that's definitely going to be a, a tough conversation to have of like, yeah, yeah, you're, I know you're the fourth fastest person in the entire world. We got to put you in the third leg. Like, yeah. Boy, what, you, what, what, yeah. What? <laughs> and you'd be like, I ain't even comfortable running up. And so this, that's the, that's the problem we run into. Right. So like, for my opinion, like I said, from me being right there, we had a meeting, the guys who were there practicing, we had a meeting. We was like, look, at the end of the day, today could be like, when we run in this prelims, it could be a totally different team in the finals. And we were all okay with that. So that's why I want people to know, like people people think, hold on, excuse me, they know it's running, but people think that who was out there was probably going to be the possible finals team. But things like, like things could have changed. You know what I'm saying? All we set it up the best way, you know, as a collective group that, we thought we can get ourselves through the prelims at least easy. Like we had the top guys, right? So we didn't think we wasn't going to make it. So, but when it comes down to, like I said, the structural standpoint, if we had more time, I think we could have really like peaked out the, like picked out like uh, strengths and weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? So that was the thing. So, yeah. 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 Cause like I see, I think earlier on this season, like what was it, Canada or Italy, they were doing four by one handoffs already. It's like, well, exactly. They they got there. You know who the four fastest are there. It it can be there are like 10 people on Team USA, maybe even more that that it could be Mm -hmm. for for us. And so, how how do you use that as motivation? You know, like this is what Mm -hmm. you you saw didn't go the way you wanted. How are you using that, you know, going forward here with the world championships coming up uh, later Mm -hmm. on this season? Excuse me real quick, because I got this thing going off. I'm trying to turn it off. My bad. Uh, say that again. My fault. Yeah. How? Uh, so looking at how 2021, the, the Olympics mm-hmm. didn't finish the way you wanted. How are you using that mo- as motivation for, you know, coming up with this year? We got the world championships in Eugene. You know, how, how are you using that to, to get ready for, for this upcoming major? Uh, just being smart about scheduling the meets and just putting out the best performances. Uh. I know one thing for myself, I definitely are trying to get more into races that are developed with high caliber athletes just to get used to competing at high levels all the time rather than going to meets where I know I'm definitely going to win and not having like that pressure. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, that was like a big thing as well, because a lot of athletes that uh, have been competing uh, since they turned pro, they probably been in many, many races where they racing against the top competitors all the time. Well, like I said, for myself, I've been out of the game so much, even though I can compete against the best of the best. It's like what people like people got to understand. I want to be consistent as possible. Right. So I just want to make sure whoever I line up against, I know what the outcome going to be.